halftime as Josh Green, our USAA leader, inducted into the Ring of Honor here at McHale Center. And given a game ball as well, the former Arizona standout, of course, now in the NBA. And his name forever going to be up in the Ring of Honor. Josh, how, how cool was that? Man, it was, it was something, you know, coming here my first time as a, you know, unofficial visit, you know, I looked at all the names in the Ring of Honor. So to say that I'm up there now is a, is a huge accomplishment, uh, especially to be able to do it in front of, you know, my, my family, you know, my little brother and my little sister. It uh, means a lot to me. Who else did you have out there with you? I look, I look like Dwight Josh Powell. Powell to me. Josh Dwight Powell. Powell. Dwight Powell, Josh Powell. He, he, might as well, he might as well be my older brother, you know. I uh, had Dwight Powell, you know, Maxie out there. Uh, you know, it means a lot for them to be able to come out here. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a friendship that's going to last forever. You know, they're more than teammates for me, and it means a lot to me. You know, look at them going ahead right now, going, going in on the food. We, we, so. caught, we caught Dwight Powell mid-bite there. Yeah, so, yeah. Former so, Stanford star. So, Josh, you qualified for the Ring of Honor with your bronze medal in basketball in the Tokyo Olympics. First Olympic medal in basketball for your country. What was that like? Man, it, it was awesome, you know, growing up, you know, it's always a dream to be out of wear uh, green and gold. Uh, you know, I, I, I was raised, you know, watching Patty Mills and Joe Ingles and Della Vadova, you know, and it, it took them 15 years to, you know, to get a medal and, you know, to see them, um, to see them come out now and, and get it, you know, and see the emotions. Uh, it's just, you know, more motivating for us younger guys to continue that tradition and, and win more. So many people never get that medal. Talk about your journey getting here, coming for the one year for Arizona. How'd that all play out? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it was it was a pretty easy decision for me to come to uh, you know Arizona. You know, I had everything you know I wanted to be a part of. You know, the tradition, the fan base, and everything. You know, I was all about it. So, for me, it was a it was an easy decision, and I, I'm very grateful that I chose Arizona. And your time that you played here with Zeke and with Nico. The lifelong friendships that you make. How are those guys doing? Man, they're they're my guys, man. Those, those guys are my brothers, and it's it's awesome to see them, you know, do do very successful things. I was with Zeke last night. Uh, Zeke's gonna be here tomorrow night or Saturday, so um, you know I'm super happy for him. His name's going up in there, and you know Nico's killing it in Italy, and um, you know I'm glad to call them my brothers. What message do you have to these young players who are out there trying to get to where you are today? Um, I think the biggest thing is just, you know, finding something that, you know, your team needs and not trying to, you know, exceed it, you know, making sure you're able to play a role. You know, the NBA has all these superstars and it's important to, you know, to fill, fill the needs that the team has and just work as hard as you can. You know, it sounds very, you know, cliche, but uh, it, it's important to work hard as a young guy and just carry a, a professional, professional self. I want to know what it's like to play for a guy like Jason Kidd. It's, it's amazing, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a you know, player's coach. Uh, he looks out for you. Um, and, you know, just some of the stuff he does, you know, before the, he draws up the play, he'll tell me the, the, the read that's open. And it's incredible. Sometimes I'm like, man, I don't know how you saw that, but uh, it, it shows, you know, he was, he's one of the best point guards of all time. So please note that Roxy and Jason Kidd went to college together. Yes, we did. Oh, yeah. really? Yes, yes, we did. A, a college called California. Yeah, I've, I've, I've told him about that. Me and, me and coach have our... Our, our little fights about U of A and Cal. What are some of the surprising things that you found out as your journey continues? And what, this is your third year in the NBA? Yep, third year. Um, I, I think just the importance of, you know, taking care of your body. You know, it's, uh, it, it's something, especially being younger, uh, making sure that I take advantage of it now and, and make sure that I'm, I'm preparing in the right way and taking care of my body because it's, it's, it's a long season and, man, you, you can get tired real quick. What's it like playing with... Luka Doncic, man, it's a, uh, it's incredible. You know, sometimes it's like it's, it's hard to, it's hard to even believe that you know he's 23 years old. You know, the, the poise that he plays with, uh, it's, it's ridiculous. You know, the stuff that he does, uh, it's, it's unteachable, um, and it's also really cool to be able to see him grow as a leader. Now you've got Kyrie there now, in yeah, Dallas. Kyrie too. You know? Didn't he get 29 in a, in the fourth quarter? The other, yeah, just the other night. It was, it was ridiculous, man. I was out there on the court and it. I mean, I'm, it just felt like I was, you know, watching it, you know, it was, it was awesome. You know, he's a great guy, great leader, and uh, he's a super competitive guy. How's Mark Cuban doing? He's doing great, you know. It's the same old Mark, you know. He's, he's, I, I, he's a player. I, he's a, he's a, he's a, he plays for the Mavericks. That's, he's that's fantastic. What I'm, yeah, he, he's a player for the Mavericks. So how are you guys doing in the standings for 
for the Western Conference, which just got a lot stronger. Yeah, I mean, the Western Conference is very strong, but it's also very close. You know, I think we're in, uh, we're in seventh now. Unfortunately, we dropped the last three, but, you know, between second to, to, to tenth, you know, it's, it's a couple games. So for us going into this last stretch of the year, it's, it's important for us to make sure that, you know, we get those wins. What about the role of someone like Dwight Powell as a mentor to you who's been there already for quite a few years? Yeah, I mean, it, it was huge having Dwight. You know, my first year, you know, it was a struggle for me. Uh, it was hard for me to get on the court. I was down, um, but he was a great role model to me. I worked really hard, uh, and, and he was always there for me. And, and I mean, I think that's the big part of why we have such a close friendship now. And uh, you look at somebody like that, he's just played a pivotal role in the league, and he's done uh, he's done what he, what he can do. And I mean, he's been in the league now for what 11 years or something. So, T take us back to when you first put on an Arizona uniform. What was it like for you? Man, it was it was amazing, man. Uh, every single introduction, you know, coming out into Mikhail Santa, just hearing the crowd, you know, it's uh, it's something that it, it never never gets old, and it, it's one of my favorite places, if not my favorite place to play. How does a country like Australia develop such remarkable basketball players? Yeah, I, including I, one of my favorite, Patty Mills. Yeah, <laughs> Patty, that guy can play. Yeah, Patty's a guy. I mean, I think it starts at a young age. You know, the the development system is uh, very key in Australia, and we learned, you know, UCLA cuts and all this simple stuff at, you know, such a young age. And you know, Australia is definitely growing in basketball. Uh, they have the right outlets now, and and the, and the right. Uh, you know, programs for, for kids to, to be able to make it over here to America. How about the pace of the NBA game and the difference between today's NBA and, and today's college game? Um, it's it, it's a big difference, you know. It's, it's such a fast game, such a fast-paced game in the NBA. But then, you know, uh, for us, you know, somebody like Matt, you know, we, we do play slower. Um, you know, we play slower, but... Um, but that slow is still fast compared to, to college. Right. So, uh, well, that's Luca. Yeah, I mean, it is. Yeah, you know. Luca's. You know, Luca's like a striker in soccer. Exactly. You know, he just, he just yeah. sort of waits till he gets the ball and yeah. then he lights up. Yeah, exactly. So no, it's definitely two different play styles for sure. Did you ever have the chance to see Jason Kidd play basketball? I mean, yeah, growing like watching him growing up, and uh, obviously, you know, when he got the head coaching job, I, I, I you know, I watched, I watched him and. You know, he he he, uh, he came in and hopped into one of our practices one day, and uh, he uh, <laughs> he showed. Could he still do it? How'd he look on the court? <laughs> uh, he, he looked great, uh, and then he just had to go get. He he definitely had to get some ice off. You know. <laughs> You're Josh, awesome. Appreciate the time. Josh How about Green. this flashback for you? Throw it down, Josh Green. One time, throw it down. Yeah. Awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations. Josh. Ring of honor, a select few, well deserved, and the Olympic bronze medal.